Today on the channel, we're starting a new series called Quick Hitters, where I show you a cool lick. Welcome back. Today we're going to start a new series called Quick Hitters. In this series I'm going to concentrate on guitar licks that I think are really cool that I want to teach and introduce to our viewers and uh, perhaps these are licks that you've always heard and didn't know how to play. Maybe they're licks that I'll introduce you to that you find interesting and uh, it'll benefit you as far as learning how to play guitar or unlocking some of your own creative juices. So. Uh, without further ado, we're going to take a look in this particular episode of Quick Hitters at the song called Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down. This song was prominently placed in the beginning of Quentin Tarantino's movie Kill Bill Volume 1 in 2003 and was sang by Nancy Sinatra, and it's beautiful. Uh, Billy Strange played guitar on this and arranged it. Billy Strange was a member of the Wrecking Crew and played on countless, countless uh, hits during the 60s, the 70s, you name it. So if you haven't watched The Wrecking Crew, it's free on YouTube. I highly recommend it. Super educational, very cool. But anyway, Billy Strange played guitar on this. Nancy Sinatra sang it. Interesting fact about the song before we get started. Sonny Bono wrote the song and Cher originally recorded it in 1966. And that same year, Nancy Sinatra covered the song. So um, it kind of blows my mind that you can write a song, release it on a record, and then a few months later, somebody else writes or uh, records it and releases it. So uh, the 60s, man, 60s and 70s were, were interesting. So uh, this song basically focuses on three main chords, this, this riff. So we're going to be in F minor. This is a tricky lick because F minor, F is, is a tough chord. F minor is not too bad, you know, and and then it goes to a, a B flat minor, and then a C, and then back to F minor. You could tune the guitar down and play it in uh, in E, I guess, if you wanted to, but I think it sounds good in this key. So anyway. We're gonna basically play this song on the, the very first four strings of the guitar. We're gonna play our F like this. And we're gonna add some tremolo. The 60s love their tremolo, so. Gives it that nice dreamy feel. There weren't a lot of effects to pull from in the 60s, so they had to use what they what they had, you know, there was crybaby, fuzz, uh, tremolo. <laughs> there wasn't a huge list. So they use that stuff very effectively. And it just evokes an emotion, right? Especially with Nancy's really, really pretty vocals. So we're gonna take this F minor chord. And uh, I'll play the riff for you. The riff goes like this, and then I'll teach it. One more time, maybe I'll get it right this time. It's very tricky. Bigsby tremolo. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take this F minor chord and we're gonna just play the top four strings, the D, G, B, and E strings, and we're gonna start on the B string on this first fret. So we're gonna fret the chord 
in anticipation of playing this lick because you want these notes to, to ring out as you play them. So, so the first four notes he goes, then we're going to play the F on the D string and the G string back to the B string, okay? So we arpeggiate that F minor. That's the first part. And then we're going to go on the G string. It's the third fret to the first fret. Now try to keep those notes ringing in that F minor chord. So if you notice, it doesn't go, it doesn't go like this. You got to have that chord ringing out. So that, that vibrato and that lush chord just sound through the entire phrase. That same concept applies on each chord that we play. So when we do this B flat minor chord, that part. So basically what we're going to do, this B flat minor chord is a pretty big chord, but we're only going to play the the minor chord part right here on the G, on the D, G, and the B string. So it's like an A minor shape, but we're gonna bring it up on the third fret, and we're gonna strum down all three strings, and that phrase sounds like this. And what I did there is I went back to the first note, so I went, arpeggiate right back up that chord and I'm gonna release my middle finger I'm gonna be playing that C so it sounds kind of like a B flat sus 2 chord just for a moment so it goes right back down there on that B flat on the G string Next part is a C. Now we're going to play the, the, the middle five strings. We're not playing the low E. We're not playing the high E. We're just going to play the first, the middle, the middle four strings. So we're going to strum all the way down those four strings. And then we're going to pick the D string and the G string. The two middle strings. So it goes... where it gets interesting we're gonna do a C sharp which is like a C augmented chord <laughs> creates that tension right so we're gonna go so what I did on that C chord was C sharp Resolve it to that C. I'm just sliding my pointer finger up on the C sharp. And I take my pinky and I'm gonna put it on the G string on the B flat. And I'm gonna ride this this melody down. Pointer finger on the first fret, open G, and then we hit home on the F minor. So that C part goes like this. That whole C chord keeps ringing through the whole thing and then hit the F minor chord. And if you got a tremolo, you can, you can scoop it and go a little vibrato on in addition to that tremolo. So from the beginning, So there you go, my baby shot me down. I hope you like this series. If you do, please subscribe, comment below. Um, and uh, you know, as always, thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate it so much and have a great day. Peace out.